Hello and welcome to a Let's Play in Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. As always, this is Dentius. So, after my disastrous campaign in The Dance of Dragons, where I was King Aegon II until I lost to my elder sister, and she became... well, I became her for one thing, and then I was faced with the problem of, do I judge the men that were actually loyally fighting for me, as I poke my chest and make my voice go like that. And, um... <clears throat> so, uh... And I was pretty much setting down the realm to rule it naturally. So I was considering, do I go with the Conquest of Dawn as the young dragon? Who historically, uh, I say histor historically in a fictional universe, conquered Dawn, and then when he died it became independent again. Because uh, he didn't hold it for very long. In fact, Dawn was only conquered and brought into Westeros through marriage. Although you can conquer it quite easily if you have a dragon or two in a... Uh, in this one. So it was either Conquest of Dawn, Blackfire Rebellion, or the War of the Nine Penny Kings. And I think I'm going to go with the War of the Nine Penny Kings because it has, as we may remember, House Blackfire, who in a previous alternate world, whatever version of this in this Let's Play, I led to victory against my half brother legitimized whatever, possibly bastard, but secretly not. Fellow, look, friendly. And so uh, I am going to be playing as King Melis the Monstrous and seeing if I can take Westeros for mine own. Uh, he didn't in the world. And oh, it's Aegon the Unlikely is on the throne. Okay. I got me a likely, um, I think. Actually, no, we can check once we get in the game. I'm not going to try to work it out, but I'm pretty sure he's quite relatively closely related to the certain Meister in the Game of Thrones TV series up there. I'm trying to remember exactly how it is. But anyway, the Blackfire, or is it maybe he's just the fourth son of a fourth son? Uh, anyway, Ma mm, Maelis the Monstrous. Let's see if we can change history once again. Visualizing mod, have faith in Joffrey. Seriously, don't. It's never a good move. Aha! I have armies. Now, before we actually bother looking up for the armies, I'm gonna have a quick look. Oh, wrong one. So he was. If I go up. Yeah, the fourth son of the fourth son. Okay. So that's why he's egg on the unlikely. And this one is. Here we go. Eamon. He's the chap who is substantially older than he is now in the show. Who is in charge of the North? Paramount Edwill with his son Rickard. Rickard! Rickard here is um, Ned Stark's father. He hasn't has kids yet. There should be Brandon Stark, Lyanna Stark, and Ned Stark. They sh and oh god, I've forgotten the fourth one. The uncle Ben Ben Stark. He should have four kids like that. They're not born yet, obviously. Poor chap. He was burnt in his armor, suspended above a fire, encased in his suit of armor, and the fire beneath was burning and he superheating his armor. Brandon Stark, his eldest son. This is all history in a. Game of Thrones world. I don't think it's been covered in detail in the TV show though. Um, but it's it's what happened to Rickard Stark and then Brandon Stark. And Brandon Stark was there as well. He had a noose around his neck and a sword just out of reach and Aerys the Mad said if you can pick up the sword and save your father and save yourself then uh, you can both go free. Uh, but it was placed just out of reach so Brandon strangled himself to death trying to get the sword to rescue himself and his father. Charming fellow Aerys the Mad. Yes, I can try to obtain a dragon egg in a world that has no dragon eggs. And wow, I'm a hunchback, ugly, strong guy with the Blackfire Blade. I'm going to try and get married. Can I get married to Dawn? Are you in the war? A convenient marriage alliance would be useful. Wow, the uh... There's Tywin. Oh yes, this is uh... Yes. 
Tywin loved his father but didn't respect him all that much. He was too laid back and willing to surrender things. This man was far more unforgiving. Ignore. Uh, Lady Sansa of the North, it would probably provide me with an alliance and get the North on my side, perhaps. Uh, prefer a matrilineal marriage, apparently. I don't have a convenient sister to marry. Oh well. Baratheons? Stefan! Stefan! Uh, sank. His ship sank. Stefan Baratheons did. Uh, he was on board and it sank. And I think Stannis and Robert witnessed it sinking. Anyway. I'm far too caught up in Game of Thrones lore and history. All of it from before the TV show. Uh, okay, time to... There we go. Grab all the boats. And then the armies. Sorry, can march over here. Alt. 316 boats. Ah, the Nine Penny Kings. I am Malus of House Blackfire, true king of Westeros. My house has been exiled in Essos for over 50 years, and so I have made an alliance with eight other power seekers, a clique of merchants, exiles and pirates, each vowing to help one another achieve our goals. We have already conquered the disputed lands and secured Tarosh for the newly crowned Jonathan, Adris of the Golden Tongue. We have also established a base in the Step Zones and now look across the narrow sea towards Westeros where shall we claim my birthright? We are the Band of Nine! I have allies coming to my aid, do I? Good. Master of Miss Whisperers doesn't like me very much. That's a bad move for me. There we go. That one likes me better. Who are you? Westeros. Oh, I missed. God damn it, really? I dropped myself in the wrong place. never played this bookmark before and I'm not sure I, I don't actually know all that much about it in terms of the uh, lore uh, okay okay I'm now a knight good for me and march and brave aha Smash this army back and forth as I've been seized, apparently. Damon Blackfire was a true heir of Aegon IV. How can it be, not be so when he was given the ancestral sword Blackfire? My bloodline is the rightful line of kings, a Targaryen line of Aegon's son, Daron being illegitimate, and as such I was certainly unthrown. Fire and blood! What am I losing this war? Is it uh, battles? Oh, other people are fighting battles for me and losing. Thank you! Mm. Okay, time for you to get on board and let's see if we can not take the... Oh great, there's too many tent soldiers there. Uh, Dragonstone then. Let's siege some islands.
<sighs> it's going to be a tough one and I'll probably lose it. Phrase. Yeah, I'm going to marry a fray. Mm. Not particularly powerful houses available for marriage, are there? There's no Martell or Lannister or. Oh well. This plot. Damn. Ah. You know what? Stick to defense for a moment. If I can perhaps capture and battle a certain king. Who's this? Stormlands. Did I just capture a... No, I didn't. What am I talking about? Crazy talk. There. Dyed hair. or something I can find. Ruler? No. Great house, doesn't matter. Gender? Woman? My culture at the very least, yes. No culture share with my High Valyrian, really? Oh, my realm. And there's Targaryens are the only others. Oh. Escape. Blood feud, traitor at war. I'm a traitor, am I? Uh. I wonder if I should gamble everything on a siege. King's Landing. That's not enough to turn the tide. I can't, I can't beat that army in the field, because I don't think I can. But maybe, maybe I can uh, win the dragons. Well, not win, but seize something of Dragonstone. thousand from vassals could be raised if I needed them. I'll siege this down and then go and deal with those uh, sieging my homelands. I need to have some positive war score other than battles. Just something. Let's 
least once I liberate my counties that I've lost there, I'll be able to strike back, I hope. What are they going to attack me over? Hey, I've killed um I've killed a Targaryen. Duncan the Small. You're losing a lot of your bloodline. Okay, I'm back up to positive. Well not positive, neutral. I have to go free my uh vassalized brethren. These Lannister traitors. Hey, good for me. How many back prisons do I have? It will be ransomed. Don't have enough money, apparently. Okay. Thank you for watching. My name is Dean Densius. Ciao for now.